Hello and welcome to 1779 North Longview Street, Beaver Creek, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here we're walking up to the front of this Beaver Creek home here. Fantastic location, we're just minutes from the green, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Wright State University, 675. Wonderful location, this home is very unique. It was pretty much completely updated in 2008. And we'll talk about the updates to the inside when we go inside, but roof, dimensional shingle, we believe the year on that is 2008. We have updated siding on the outside. The windows are updated. Tons of updates on the inside and some of the uniqueness about this home. Look at this covered, or this actually is not covered, this uncovered front patio here. Decorative concrete here. This is really, really nice. Handrail going around here. And even going up to the garage, we have one here. Four bedrooms with a full basement that has been waterproofed. And we'll take a look at the backyard here a little bit. But something that's really unique here, fenced-in yard. And it's a huge yard, but it's deceiving. It's more than twice the size. It's a double lot. Goes all the way back to this tree line back here. We'll look at that momentarily. An acre. So we have an acre in Beaver Creek. Fantastic. Let's go inside and take a look. Actually, before we go inside, I wanted to show you the back deck and the backyard since we were just talking about it. Refinished deck here. Huge deck that almost runs the whole length of the livable space of this house. Bench seat on the left side, completely railed off, and a bench seat on the right side. Massive deck. Now the yard. This is the fenced in portion. Lots of mature trees. I really love that. It gives a lot of character to the neighborhood. So we have the fenced in spot here. And then there's a double gate right there. I'm going to go down there and I'll meet you and show you the back section. All right, here I just came to the back fenced in portion of the yard. As you can see, this is a massive yard just in the fenced in area. Very nice canopy with the trees. And then walking through the gate, we have a storage shed over here with a ramp leading up to it, fire pit. Very, very private back here. We have lots of vegetation. Now, the property line actually doesn't stop here. It actually goes back in the woods a little bit. It's not uncommon to see deer back here. Fantastic backyard. Great place for a fort for the kids and plenty of privacy. Next, I'll meet you inside. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. And one thing I really like about this, look at the size of this living room. This is a massive living room. We have a fireplace right here, all textured ceilings and all kinds of different furniture arrangements. Uh, the front window here was new in 2008. Pretty much almost everything in this house was done 2008. Have a ceiling fan here in the living room. Another thing, a lot of character with the curved archways in here. This leads us to two of our bedrooms this way. This leads us to our dining room and kitchen. And again, curved archway here. All of the doors and trim were updated. This is a coat closet right here. Fantastic living room. And then we'll check out bedroom number one. This is on the front right of the home. And a good sized bedroom here. Windows are all updated pretty much in the whole entire house. We have a bifold closet going into there. And as you can see, get a good look at the doors here that were updated in 2008. And some of the trim was updated as well. Bathroom here, this was gutted and completely redone in 2008. Updated ceramic tile on the floor, four piece shower tub enclosure has the molded in crown molding here i actually have the exact same one in my house very nice vanity with a double mirror medicine cabinet and then the commode is kind of tucked back here hidden back when a tempered glass window and we'll check out the other first floor bedroom before we do we have a built-in linen closet here three drawers and two large cabinets. 
Bedroom number two, this is on the back right of the house. We do have an overhead light in here, could throw a ceiling fan in here. And unlike other houses that I've seen in this price range, this is actually a good sized bedroom here as well. So first floor bedrooms, both really good sized. Next, let's head over to the dining room. Big, si big sized dining room here. We do have a ceiling fan, double back doors. We already saw the backyard. And then look at this kitchen. We have hickory type cabinets and even a large curved archway going into the kitchen here. All of this was gutted and redone in 2008. Appliances all stay. Very nice black appliances. And one thing that my wife really likes on a house is can overlook the backyard from the kitchen sink. We even have the glass tile backsplash here. Perfect little spot nestled in, space saver for the fridge. And that's a nice, that's a Whirlpool Gold refrigerator. Very, very nice. Pantry uh, closet right here. This door leads us to the basement. And this door leads us out to our one car garage. Give you another view of the kitchen and dining room. Fantastic first floor. Next, I'm gonna meet you upstairs and I'll show you the second floor. And this is the upstairs entrance right here. I'll meet you up top and we'll take a look. All right, so here I just came up the stairs. We have a full bedroom back here and a study or a nursery right here. One thing with these Cape Cod homes, this is a storage area here that runs almost the whole length of the house here. Before we go back and check this section, there is a good size bedroom right when we enter the stairs. We have double bifold closets here. And this opens up into a huge room. Dormer adds a lot of space, perfect spot for a chest or a hutch. And there's even storage here as well. All the carpet and every, all the flooring was updated in 2008. This has new baseboards up here, doors trim. This is new laminate floors here. This is a turnkey ready home here. Walking down the hallway, we are not calling this a bedroom. I believe we're going to be calling this a study. Perfect spot to put the desk for the kids. And then the fourth bedroom. Very, very neat, almost like a rustic cabin. This is all real wood on the walls in here. And we do have a good sized closet over here. Very, very cool. Next, I'm gonna meet you down in the basement. We've seen the first floor. Now we're on the second floor. Now we gotta check out this basement that's been professionally waterproofed. I will meet you down in the basement. All right, so here I just walked down into the basement. And this is a big basement, full basement on this home. Immediately to our right, we have our mechanical area. We have our hot water heater, and I believe that was 2005. And this is a high efficiency Lennox furnace here, just a couple years old, and it has a high efficiency air cleaner. One thing about this home, with the energy efficiency, we have new windows throughout, air conditioner is newer, furnace is newer, there was sprayed foam insulation in the walls and added insulation in the basement, or excuse me, in the walls in the attic of the house as well. We're down in the basement right now, perfect spot for a pool table, and this pool table, the balls, all of the equipment, does stay with the home. Fresh coat of paint down here. On this side of the house, this is under the porch. This is our tornado safe room. This black wall here is all waterproofing system, concrete ceiling here. And the basement was all professionally waterproofed with a transferable warranty on it as well. Sump pump was added, perimeter drain was put in around the interior portion of the property. Hard to tell, but if you look real close, you can see this is all perimeter drain here, but big basement. Could be finished off very nice. We have updated glass block windows in here. Our washer and dryer system over here. And there's a little cubby hole back here that's a great spot for storage. And that has been waterproofed as well. So great size basement. And I am six foot three inches and I can stand up and walk all around in here. So this is a good space down here where they use it for storage or as a rec room. 
And one thing to point out there, the battery backup will not stay with the sump pump. Next, I'll meet you back upstairs. So thanks for watching our video of this fantastic home on Longview Street in Beaver Creek. Homes like this do not come along that often. So nicely updated, such an attractive price on an acre. With uh, You get so much for the money with this house. Nicely updated, updated furnace, air conditioner, water heater, roof, windows, kitchen, bathroom, flooring. Fantastic home. If you would like to see this home in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355 or by email that is john, J-O-N, at buywithjohn.com. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.